Rover, you join me at Shearwater, chucking it down, and we've got 30 mile per hour winds inbound, and the lake's still frozen. <laughs> I've been here for a couple of hours now and it's quite thick, but it's supposed to be about 14 degrees today, so hopefully with any luck it should melt. So I'm going to actually be a bit of a man and wait it out. All you hardcore carpers, hopefully in a few hours it will go. So I'm not going to get much fishing time, I'm only here for 24 hours, but even if I get some rods out tonight, I'll be happy. Fish for try to steal one bite. In the meantime, I'm going to get set up in this lovely rain. You know what? My Christmas session isn't really going to plan. <laughs> so it's still only about half nine in the morning and I've rocked up and I'm still not fishing. Um, I've set up all the rods, the rods are all set up, they're ready to go. Um, but the ice shelf out there is still really solid. Oh, I don't know what to do guys, I don't know what to do. Um, I'm absolutely soaked, I've got my coat drying over here. <laughs> um, sheer water is a tough one. This is definitely hardcore carping. My, everything is soaked. I've got puddles on my feet and a bivy. Um, I'm trying to keep the bed dry, which is good. Let's see what the bailiff says if the bailiff comes round. If I'll be able to get refunded if I can't, if I'm not able to fish. Or do I just sit here and wait till the ice melts and have a basically just fish the night? But I've got a long wait. However, I have reached over 500 subscribers and I did say to thank you all for the support you've been giving me. I'll be giving away a 48 hour free fishing session down Todba Manor on the Big Hayes Lake. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a draw, uh, get you guys to enter. Um, hopefully, this should be simple enough. All I want you to do um, is carry on watching. If you watch to the end of the video, I'll give you the details on how to enter for that. So yeah, I thought that would be quite a nice little gift to give away to you guys. Um, and obviously we'll book it sometime when the weather, like the summer or spring, where the weather conditions aren't like this, because this is absolutely atrocious. What do you do? What do you do when the lake's frozen? I don't know. Go home? A lot of, some anglers have gone home. Two lads next to me are sticking out and waiting. And basically it's them who are waiting that made me wait. I'm sort of, they, I asked them what you boys doing. They said they're going to try and wait out because the lad said he's fished colder better than this and some of the uh, the ice actually does melt quite quickly but <laughs> it's getting on so yeah plan of attack for now uh, I'm going to cook some sausages and I'll keep you all updated on what's going on so the ice is still defrosting as we're waiting I thought it'd be quite good just to go through the year I've had um, considering this is it's basically a Christmas special. This will probably be the last time I actually get out carp fishing before the Christmas holidays. So the start of the year actually actually proved quite tricky trying to get carp at the start of the year. It was cold, it was miserable, it was raining a bit. A bit like today actually. Uh, I was fishing at a place called Durley Reservoir. And it was good actually to be fair. It was good because I actually started practicing my range fishing over there. And I literally went from, I think literally the last time I was at Linear, I, was struggled, I just struggled to get 25 wraps and that was just mucking around with the cast. Uh, with Callum and at Durley I actually sort of pushed it a bit further and saw I actually tried to fish at 28 wraps um, and I was hitting it I was hitting 28 wraps I was able to spot at 28 without any wind so it was actually I really sort of impressed myself with that one so yeah it came a long way um, obviously practice makes perfect so hopefully I can have some more opportunities to actually practice and home in the skills on the range fishing Unfortunately, when we were there, all we got managed to get was bream. However, I did catch my longest range fish there. It was uh, on a 28 wrap on a zig, I actually did bring him a bream. So, so that was at the start of the year, and then later on, springtime came around. And that's actually when I had a proper, an actual proper carp session, a 48 hour. Um, and that was at Todber, Callum and Matt. 
I think it was around May time, I think. And uh, typical on a 48 hour. So Matt and uh, Callum, on, so Callum on that first day absolutely tore up. He had a carp, he had a few cats. We had a couple of cats in there. Um, absolutely smashed it. And of course, me and Matt were sitting on the sidelines going, what are we doing wrong sort of thing. But then next day, Matt started catching a lot and he did really well. I think, I think Matt had a 20 out and I still yet to catch. But yeah, eventually on the last night, very last night before we had to go, uh, I managed to pull in two carp. So that was my first fish of the year. It was, I think it was a 19 pound mirror by memory. Um, it was a gorgeous look, like, looking thing. And then literally quickly after that, I, got, I managed to pull in a 15 pound common. So typical, isn't it? It's like buses, you, you know, you were there for. That was the first proper decent session where I got the carp bug back on sort of thing. So after the top of the session, we actually went to, I went to uh, Auburn's Lakes in um, Hertfordshire. Boy, this session this year was mega. I think, I, I think between me and Callum, we landed close to over 20 fish on Willows Lake and one of them being my PB at the time, uh, which was a 25 pound common and it was gorgeous, short, fat, huge belly, oh, amazing fish. But yeah, that was, um, that was a really nice memory of that place. And in fact, at that time, that was my second PB I've got from that lake. Then after that, I actually went and started doing a bit of carping in Wales. Uh, I went to a little lake called Trinit Fishery, which is a good little runs water, um, good fun, pulling out a couple of, uh, loads of little uh, carp out there, which was great, great sport um, by Peggy's Tree. Um, took my sister there as well, and she was happy she managed to get one as well. Um, summer was sort of rolling in then, and once summer rolled in, uh, for my 30th birthday, Maya actually booked us onto a Kefin Madley in Wales, which is a big complex, multiple lakes. One of them being which I had actually these little sort of log cabins on the side. Um, I think it's called Lodge on a Lake, the business is called. And uh, that was a session I'll never forget, ever. It, I think overall we landed 41 carp in the, over the space of four days, and it was just incredible. Um, double takes everywhere. Maya was having great fun reeling them in as well, and we had a hot tub. What more could you want? Absolutely amazing holiday. Um, and probably the best present I could have got for a 30th. Late summer, uh, we went back to Todda on Little Hayes, me, Callum, and Matt, and we uh, had a bit of a social, had a bit of a match going on. Did manage to lock my keys in my car, which wasn't the best of starts for the session. Absolute donut, as always. That was exactly the, that, that played out exactly the same way as the first session did. Callum tore up on the first day, first night. Matt had a couple, and I had nothing till the very last night. And I managed. To, I, I lost about. I think I lost two or three fish overall on that trip. But the last night, I managed to pull in a little kitten and a about a 15 pound mirror, I believe it was. Um, so yeah, good session there again. After that, there was an overnight session with my old man at Claydon Park Fishery, which was a really nice fishery. Not many carp in there, just some old dinosaurs. There's only about 10 or 12 carp in the whole lake, but some gorgeous tench and big pike. If you want to go pike fishing, Claydon. Claydon Park Fishery is the one. Um, but yeah, it was nice to go for the carp there and actually spend the night in the lodge there with my old man, uh, have some good time with him. I think he's going to get the bug, so I think next year, summer, I think he might be on a few more of my videos, which would be good. After that, I think the week after that, I, um, I actually joined a, joined a carp syndicate this year called the Birch Syndicate in Wales. It has some monsters in there, because I was after my first 30 pounder, and my second session down there, I did a quick overnight, so I got down there about seven in the evening, um, set up all the stuff, uh, got the rods out for the night, and I had to leave, I think, about 11 o'clock the next day wasn't expecting much and boy was i surprised at what happened that night that was probably the most magical moment i've ever had fishing um and to this day managed to, this still is my pb managed to pull in a 38 pound five ounce mirror fish actually called two pound it's a named fish um character fish and uh I think it's the third or fourth biggest in the lake. Unbelievable experience, unbelievable moment, and I'll never forget that feeling of sheer panic and sheer adrenaline when it went in the net. And then when it tipped the scales, 
I thought I might, when I first saw it, I thought I might have had a 40 and uh, it smashed my PB and now I'm actually in the 30s club with that absolutely gorgeous fish. So after that, we actually went to Thorpley again with the Carpy Traveller. Kurt, if you're watching, you're probably laughing at the horrible conditions I'm in at the moment. Um, and silly circumstances that I find myself in. Still, again, unfortunately, just above a blank. Um, it's quite tough, that one. It was when there was the first proper temperature drop. I managed to get head by by coot. That was all, that was fun. <laughs> and then also we did something a bit different. I actually went uh, saltwater fishing in the Seven Estuary, which was mega. Absolutely amazing. So I caught my first blondie ray. I got my first thornback ray, first conger eel. Absolutely mental. Everyone was pulling in fish left, right, and center in that. And the fight on them was insane. So yeah, that was a really good uh, trip out with Heritage Charters, which I would recommend if you've got family, you want to do a bit of saltwater fishing, I'd recommend, I would recommend hiring them out. I think if you hire out the boat, it's about 50 quid each, you get about 10 people. So well worth it, guys. Eight hour sessions on that boat, spot on. And then we're coming up to the end of the year, which is actually winter, where the weather's dropped, we've had our first frost. I had an amazing predator session. Uh, at my mate's barge boat in a private marina, like literally about four weeks ago. Um, unbelievable session with those pike. I mean, we, he, he, first time I got him, little Jimmer, actually properly fishing for pike, and he managed to pull in a 15 and a half pounder and a 16 and a half pounder in the same session. Same spot as well. I had, I think we had seven pike overall, so we had those two, and then five others, and I think the two, there was like two jacks, and then the other three were all over 10 pound. So it was a mega session for that. So yeah, that's pretty much the sums up the year. It's been an absolute mega year for fishing. Um, two PBs for me, for carp, uh, this year. Braving it and starting to come out in crazy conditions like this, where I can't even fish because the lake's bloody frozen. Again, throughout this year, it's been fantastic having you guys watching and having that support from you. It's been brilliant. The channel's grown massively uh, from where it was at the beginning of the year. So I'd like to thank everyone. And again, keep watching to the end because I am going to be giving a 48 hour free fishing session away at Todber Manor on Big Hayes Lake. So yeah, it's been a pleasure, guys. And hopefully this water, this, this ice will defrost. And I'll be able to get some more fit, like fishing footage for you. Fingers crossed, eh? Fingers crossed. So a little update, you can see it's about half three now. It's very dark, but look, the ice has started to melt. It's making a lot of weird noise. So there is a little bit of an ice shelf left, but it is quickly melting now. So I'm gonna actually get some rods out. <laughs> Come on the carp. Right, update on this crazy, awful <laughs> Christmas special. So we come to darkness, it's about four o'clock, sun's gone down, it's pitch black. Um, back in the bivy, as you can see, I'm drenched. I'm gonna retire now, get my dry clothes on, and then uh, get in the bed. But, all, but we managed to get all three rods out. The ice had actually melted away. Um, so yeah, we've actually managed to get all three rods out. It's a bit of pub chucks as it got dark quite quickly, so I had no idea where the leads landed. But looking at the lines, they look roughly in line with where I wanted to fish. I've fished about 20 wraps. Um, got uh, some about five spawns out of slop over it, and I've got a solid bag on another rod, just pub chucks. So yeah, we're fishing at last. Whew, took a while. Right, latest update. Just got into my dry clothes. Guess what happens? Middle rod, Baz of the Bream got me. <sighs> so I've just can't recast the rod out, don't know where it went, don't know how far it went, I just hit, it's really windy out there and I don't want to be standing out there all day just sinking the line, so I actually hit the line whenever I felt like it. <laughs> the lead was flying through the air. Oh, what an absolute crazy session.
good morning. Welcome back to Shearwater. It's the next morning. Um, <laughs> last night, <laughs> it was raining all night, all day, like yesterday. And about three o'clock in the morning, God really decided to let us know what for. It absolutely hammered it down. It sounded like a jet was about to crash. But yeah, the bivvy's just about held up. It's it's wet inside. I mean, you can see how wet it is <laughs> in there. But the vapor shield, luckily, up here, that vapor shield stopped all the water droplets hitting me. Um, but yeah, it was mental. Absolutely mental. <sighs> But yeah, anyway, positive news. Managed to get five spots out, three rods all set up, and I'm actually fishing properly for the first time. <laughs> Quite excited now. I'm going to spend the day here. I'm not going to spend another night here. So what I'll probably do while I'm waiting for those rods to tear off, just start packing down little bits and bobs from in there, like keep the uh, the sleeping bag dry. But yeah, sheer what's beautiful, isn't it? I mean, look at it. Absolutely gorgeous. That is... That's a sight to be held. Right, anyway. So yeah, I'm going to put on some breakfast, chill out and... Um, get some stuff away. Hopefully we'll get a Christmas carp or December carp. that's it now the sun's going down at Shearwater it's gonna be my last trip of the year so thanks everyone for watching yeah it's been an absolutely brutal session uh, here in Shearwater um, had to sit all day yesterday watch the ice defrost couldn't fish it so eventually it did defrost when it did it was chucking it down with rain got the rods out just before but dark last night it was torrential rain all night so I was absolutely soaked through but today I've actually been fishing properly Fortunately, she only had five bream but giveaway time 48 hours free fishing at Tobber Manor. Right, to enter the competition, uh, what you've got to do, you've got to like this video, you've got to comment below Chunky, and subscribe to the channel. That simple, and I'll announce the winner in the next video, or the next time I'm out on the bank. Cheers everyone for support, and I'll see you in the new year. <laughs>